he is in and out of jail, only looking out for number one. <laughs> right in South Africa, under the noses of the regime, and it is political in a way, well, though I don't say it's political, I mean, politics is only the, the background. It is definitely a slice of life where politics is inevitable, but it's, it's, it's one aspect of the life, and it's not the only thing. You've got to see how people get on with their lives as well as the troubles they face. So the Mapanzola is not about a political leader, it's about now life in general. That's why now even the character Panic, he's not a political phenomenon. He's nothing in politics. He's just leading a normal life, daily life, uneducated, looking for work, doesn't get work. He's got to live by his wits now. thing is a kind of a repossession. You are not stealing, you are just repossessing what is basically yours or naturally yours. As long as there's that desperation, people are going to do these things. And that's a kind of character panic is really. Let's go to Mapetla Soweto to try and find out what the Pansula really is. And my pencil has uh, taken out to be to be a rough, to be uh, the rough type of people. It ep epitomizes a style, a kind of a way of living. The white brimmed hat. Maybe, maybe a dub shire, like we go for names. There's the check shirt, the belt. You see the belt, the belt, everything. It's, it, it would be some you go for it's not a belt but it's some belt that you wear it's not just a trouser it's some trouser that you would wear. see they, 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 this is quite quite right it's like my pantsola now they belong to mbakanga the two-tone shoes they go always go with them shawzas i hate to say that the criminal type I would say the, the, the criminal type, I mean, like the car thieves and things like that, they're still the Mapanzolas. If you're a Tsotsi, you talk Africans and English and a bit of Zulu, a bit of Tosa, a bit of Venda, a bit of Sotho. Everybody has got to use his own language, more especially now. This film is a township film. It's better in their own languages. He's a brutal person. But he's a total clown in another way as well. And that's Thomas's skill and Thomas's magic, and he brings that out. What you wear is who you are, Mama. If the film could reach an audience of the kind of characters that one sees in the film, of, of that street gangster, if somebody like that would go to a cinema like the Rio in Market Street and watch the film, and suddenly there's a story about him or her, I think it could have an amazing impact. You know, the image of South Africans seeing themselves on the screen rather than always these foreign prototypes. In 1988, Mapansula was initially banned and on appeal heavily restricted by the publication's appeal board. We even went to have lunch with uh, the director of the appeal board at that time, Kubis van Rooyen. I said to him, look, you, you can't do this. You, the, these edits you want to do is, is a blatant man manipulation of the content of the film. But one must possibly look back and say those were, let's call them inverted commas, war decisions the inverted commas war is now over. In 1989's AA Vita Award Ceremony, marked by open criticism of censorship, Mampansula took seven awards. The system of uh, censorship in South Africa is not really conducive to freedom of filmmaking. But things have shifted since then, and, and I hope when, when we resubmit it now, it'll get through. I think Mapansula, and I think this really contributes to its success, is a very real film, a film which all South Africans should see. We were trying to capture the mood of the times. 